Yeah, hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be exploring the magic button. So here I have a button, when I press it, as you can see the door will close up. And if I press it again, the door will open. So the cool thing about this is that there's absolutely no redstone connected to it on either side. And it still works. And so pretty much either side you can put a button pretty much anywhere on this block and it'll work. But the cool thing about this is that there's a button at head level. And it's right next to the door. And it's completely seamless. And so you can have like, if you wanted, you could have glass blocks for say, all the way across and maybe have a glass building. I think this would look really good in it. But anyways, let's jump straight into this. Now I'm guessing most of you guys have probably seen a type of magic button in one form or another. But most of them they show it off like this, where it's a piece of carpet and a floating block. If I press the button here, you can see the redstone lamp turns on. How it works is it's just a st sticky piston facing straight down and the button triggers this piston. But it's not so simple because what you actually have to do is have a clock updating this piston for it to work. So if I press this button here, you can see that's working. But if I remove this comparator and I press the button, nothing will happen. That's because the comparator will keep updating this piston. So pretty much what's happening is when you press a button, this piston is powered, but it doesn't know it. So you have to update it, so if I press the button and place a block on top of it, it'll update it, and the piston will extend. Now the button is retracted, and so it's off, and the piston is unpowered, but it doesn't know it. So if I break the block, it'll update it again, making it retract. So here I have a clock, it's just uh, two hoppers facing into each other, and a comparator right here. And if it's this close, it'll somehow update it, and when you press the button, it'll update the piston powering it. So there's multiple forms of these. Most of you guys have probably seen the comparator one and the observer one where they just face into each other. But I was watching an Il Mango video the other day and he showed off this contraption right here and it also works. So the reason I've never used these before in a different type of build is because it is a clock after all. As you can see they're both blinking and I don't know about you guys but on multiplayer servers clocks are not allowed it causes lag it's just like it's just not good and I really don't know if that is less laggy than this one but I'm assuming this is less laggy because as you can see nothing is blinking and it's still updating it so it has that going for it and the other thing is this is a I believe this is one or two game ticks or redstone ticks and so it's not it's not instantaneous when you press the button there is like a, a little bit of delay, but this should be only one game tick and it sh should be instantaneous, but I'm not a technical player, so I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, how the clockless one works is that you have to have a hopper here with any type of item that is stackable and you have to have one of each, uh, each slot has to be one item filled and then the top has to be a container of some sort that is holding a different type of item that is not in the hopper. So here I have cobblestone, and here I have a piece of blue wool, and that will keep updating it. But I would recommend using either barrels or droppers, because for whatever reason, you put a block on top of this chest, it'll, it'll turn off. I have no idea why. If I show you guys what it looks like without, uh, without the hopper underneath, it'll stay on. This is a type of bug that I do not understand, but... I hope they keep it because it is very cool that you can have an updater without a clock. And here I have a couple examples. This is a 3x3 where you just press the button. You could either have it like on the inside like this or you could have it like a flat wall with the button here. And either way it'll it'll power this 3x3. And I think that's really nice because then you can just come straight up to it. And this is right at head level and it's right next to the door. So you don't have to do some sort of fancy wiring and have the button like way out here. Another example is a 2x2 two two seamless or semi hipster. This is almost like the full hipster except it's just a semi. And the only difference is it's one block wider to the left but it is a lot faster. So you can press it a lot faster too. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to build these two. And of course they work from both sides. Uh, the 3x3, three three, you just have to build two of them, but anyways, let's jump straight into it. 
So we're going to start off with the semi hipster. This is really easy to build. What you're going to want to do is put two sticky pistons, one block above the ground. And this is where your floor is. If you close the door, it'll look like that. And then you can build a frame around it. Just to understand where the door sits. So that's what the door will look like. So what you're going to want to do is pick left or right, doesn't really matter. Block here. And in a, a sticky piston pointing into it. Now, right in front of this piston, one block in front. Obs uh, note block there. And then have a observer on top of this with a block on top of the observer. Have a observer pointing towards the back. And then one pointing towards the side with the piston with the block there. Repeater here, set to four. Into, into this piston with a piece of redstone dust on top. Then place an observer pointing straight up. And if you hold shift, you can place another observer pointing straight up, just like that. Now if you right click this note block, that's the full semi hipster. Now to attach the button to it, pretty much on the opposite side of where this piston is, I have a button right at head level. And underneath this block here, sticky piston pointing down with an observer pointing towards the side with the note block. Black here, redstone dust there. Now what you're going to want to do is diagonal to this observer. Black there, comparator pointing into it. A hopper underneath, uh, right next to the blue wall. It could be pointing in any direction, it doesn't really matter. And then a dropper right on top of it. And then what you're going to do with the hopper, one of item, one item in every slot that is, uh, non that is stackable. Now the top, doesn't really matter, anything that's not the same item. And that's pretty much it. So now you can just fill in your floor and you're done with the door. The next one is the 3x3. Three three. Pretty much the exact same thing. What you're going to do, two sticky pistons, one block above the ground. And then you place two blocks like that. And then if you build a 3x3, three, 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 three blocks on all sides, you can build a ring. And that's where the 3x3 three three sits. And then what you're going to do, Left or right, doesn't really matter. Uh, sticky piston pointing into uh, this block on either side, doesn't really matter. Now, opposite side of where this piston is, no block there. Two observers pointing towards the back, block there. Redstone dust with the repeater pointing to this bottom piston set to four. Observer pointing up from the snow block, two more pointing straight up from here, and a block there. And that's a semi hipster. Now what you want to do is put three sticky pistons on all of the sides, pointing into the blocks like that, and another one pointing straight down from the center, so it'll look like that. From the side with the note block, three blocks out, redstone dust all the way across, and two observers pointing straight up into a block with a piece of redstone dust. From here, block up like this. Redstone dust all the way across, and you can fix this if it pushed up. Uh, observer into a block with a piece of redstone dust. You right click the note block. That's all the sides except for the top. For the top, it's really easy. You can pick left or right, doesn't really matter. Block here, or observer reading this dust into a block. Take out a normal piston, or actually no. Two blocks here, two repeaters with a piece of redstone dust. And that is a 3x3. Now you can build a ring all the way across. And now this is where you put your button. Either here or here, doesn't really matter. So this is on the side with the note block. And of course, you know what to do. A sticky piston. And then you have an observer pointing towards the side with the note block. Block here, redstone dust. And then it's the exact same thing. You just do the comparator trick. Compared to running into this uh, observer, uh, what you might call it, a a hopper here, and then one type of item all the way in the bottom, and then a different item in the top. And that's pretty much the whole three by three. Now, if you want to build it on this side, you literally just copy the exact same thing from this row to this side, and then you can have two buttons on both sides. But anyways. This is the magic button without the clock and I hope it's useful. Maybe you guys can use it for other doors, but I'm pretty sure this is applicable for like almost every door 
and like every base ever so yeah